Since year 2000, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts has funded a total of 22 schools of living traditions for the Panay Bukidnon community of Iloilo and Capiz. The efforts to revive the traditional culture of this ethnolinguistic group are now bearing fruits with the continuous funding and establishment of different schools of living traditions in both provinces. The Central Panay School of Living Tradition was the pilot site for the Panay Bukidnon. From this mother school sprang several others in Tapas and Hamindan in Capiz and in Binulosan Pequeño, Agkalaga, Tuyungan, Garangan, and Masaroy in Kalinog, Iloilo. The various sites have established their own Balay Turunan as homes of the Panay Bukidnon Schools of Living Traditions. The trainings have centered on reviving and promoting three key art forms from their culture. Sugidanon is the epic narration of the adventures and exploits of the brothers Labao, Dongon, and Humadapnon. The schools in Tapas, Agkalaga, and Hamindan have all implemented trainings for teaching Sugidanon. Panubok is their traditional embroidery that boasts of having a distinct color and design system that can be identified only with the Panay Bukidnon. Saipang is the traditional blouse for women. It comes with butterfly-shaped sleeves and often measures up to the lady's waistline and sometimes even cut midrib. Embroidered designs embellish the saipang, which is usually red or white. The traditional panubok designs are matangpunay, toko-toko, sikag-sikag, sudlikama, and girigiti. They combine all these stitches to create stories on their wares, inspired by the Sugidanon and their environment. The schools of living traditions of Tapas, Garangan, Agkalaga, and Masaroy have implemented trainings on Panubo. Didanog is the Panay Bukidnon traditional dance of courtship. It mimics the movements of a kayai or banog bird. It is performed during special events such as weddings, anniversaries, and harvest season. Accompanied by agong and tambol, binanog dancers stomp their feet and flail their arms as people around them cheer them on. There are two types of binanog. Tiglalaki is the courtship dance wherein a female and male dance as partners. Tigbabayi is the binanog dance for widows and old maids. Binanog is taught in schools of living traditions in Binulosan Pequeño, Toyungan, Garangan, and Agkalaga in Kalinog and in Tapas and Hainan Norte in Capiz. Aside from these three art forms, schools of living traditions on bamboo crafts have been established in Binolosan Pequeño and Haina Norte. Schools of living traditions on Panay Bukidnon musical instruments were also established in Tapas.
Through the schools of living traditions, the Panay Bukidno, Novi, Liuda, and Capis have become prouder of their cultural heritage. sa programa ng NCCA halos uh, nabuhay yung mga halos ang mga tayo na namin kultura at yung mga bata na noon no, parang no, walang ganang sumayaw ng dinanog at sa kahiya na yun hindi na pag parinig sila ng kapit ng tambo ay ano na agad sila na hindi na hindi kinahiya yung kanilang kultura na yun na hindi nila alam at uh, para sa amin malaki talaga ito na Nagipay ako sa kung sa Tagalog, panghinoon. Nga, naging hatagan kami sing kahigayunan na nabuhi ang kultura. Tapos, nagdibilok, nagsadya, nakita ka mga ahinsya sa gobyerno. Ginbuligan kami, ginapangabay ko pagin. Na ini nga kultura na mo, na nasiling i usirisal sa kabataan ang pag-asa. Kaya ako, tigulang na ako. 63 years old na ako. Sa kabataan, ginaasahan ko na magdibilot ang Sugidanon, Dilot, Ulawhay, Binano, Talda, kag marami pa nga history. Marami pang ikwinto ko sa kabataan. The Ati are among the first inhabitants of the Philippine archipelago. Their knowledge systems and practices span thousands of years despite their nomadic lifestyle. At present, they inhabit areas of Antique, Aklan, Guimaras, and Negros Occidental. Schools of living traditions were established in those communities in order to pass on knowledge on medicinal plants, language, crafts, and performance art. Utilizing the abundance of nature, the Ati of Aklan have developed forms of basketry that use materials like uway, rattan, nito, tayok-tayok, and pari-pari. Sityo botong, balindog, laser na inabas, teach the young Ati how to harvest and process these raw materials and create useful basketwares through weaving. The skill they learned have become a means for them to earn additional wages for their schooling and everyday needs. In Malay Aklan, a school of living traditions on hunting and gathering was established. It taught the young Ati of Malay on how to source out food from the forest and bodies of water and how to prepare these provisions the traditional way. The Ati of Negros Occidental can be found in the municipalities of Don Salvador Benedicto, San Carlos City, and Isabela. The schools of living traditions in these areas focused on the use of ticket in weaving mats and baskets, as well as the revival of Ati folk tales and language through music and dance. The schools of living traditions in Hamtik and Pueblos Corner in Antique taught Ati language to its young students in order to mitigate the diminishing use of Ati language in favor of the predominant Kinaraya. Aside from the students, family members were also tasked to use Ati language at home so that students may continue practicing the language. <laughs> sinasabihan ko na sila na kahit na dahil sabi ng picture namin sa ano sa ati yung mga ati daw ang unang pumunta dito sa panay yung mga pinagmamalaki ko yung ano yung ati hindi mo kayo may ari after participating in the schools of living traditions the young ati have become prouder of their ethnicity 
Through their folk tales, they found out that they are the original settlers of Panay Island. These have enhanced their pride as Ati, and learning traditional skills in weaving baskets and hunting and foraging has enabled them to maximize what nature can provide for them. Mat weaving has become an industry in Basai, Samar. Anyone who sees embroidered mats will come to know that this comes from the Warai of Basai. Just outside of the town proper is the coastal village, Basiao. A school of living traditions on Tikub mat weaving was established in this small part of Basai. The school was housed at the Saob Cave, where cool temperature gives the dried pickled leaves flexibility that yields sturdy mats. Unfortunately, Basai was one of the areas severely devastated by Typhoon Yolanda in November 2013. The Palawan have been known for their devotion to nature through animism. They are the original inhabitants of the island and are mostly found in Brooks Point, Quezon, and Rizal in Palawan. Their utmost respect for nature and the resources it provides is evident in their crafts as represented by the Pinkep. These containers are crafted from the resilient bulldog Binsag and Busnig. The schools of living traditions in Arubongos and Mambalot in Brooks Point and in Quezon make use of such materials including rattan and bamboo in teaching young Palawan on crafting baskets and mats. Aside from honing the handcraft skills of their communities, School of Living Traditions on Performance of Tarek have also been implemented in Aribungos, Ipilan, and Imulnod in Brooks Point and in Quezon. Tarek is performed on a floor panel made of bamboo during celebrations, accompanied by a basal ensemble composed of agong, gimbal, and sana instruments. The music from the basal is said to enable Palawan to communicate with the spirits. The rapid tapping of feet on the bamboo strips produce additional beats to the music, while the dancers hold leaves from the sealed plant, raise their forearms up and down to drive away the bad spirits. <laughs> 